Hey guys, what is going on? So welcome back to episode 14 of my series of going from zero to 100 million gold in the Elder Scrolls Online. So what we're going to be doing today is actually a lot of progress on our character. As you can see in this little preview, we do actually end up getting to level 300 so we can go do some nice dungeons. So uh, we've got that coming up. But uh, yeah, what we're going to do basically is we're just going to jump into the video real quick, show you guys where we left off in the last episode, what level we are, how much money we have, and then we're just going to jump into what we're going to do today, okay? So at the end of last video, we actually ended up getting disconnected from the game. So we didn't really get to go over our traders, show you guys everything. But what I will do now is whenever we got back onto the server is to show you what is sold and how much money we have and stuff now. Okay. So looking at our mail, we've sold quite a lot of the platinum there. So it was all selling the 8k per stack. Um, we sold a couple of other things like the Blackwood treasure maps. We also had to sell some of our dwarven stuff back at like 50k reason being is people sort of discovered that it wasn't worth so much anymore so we didn't want to hold it and have it go to like 5k 10k whatever so we just sold it for 50k again just to get our money back a little bit okay all right so what we're starting off with is 1.6 million gold so we're going to go invest that right away so we're going to go check all the traders right away um unfortunately yesterday we didn't really get to check too many uh because the game crashed on us so what we're doing today is making sure we check all those is like the first thing we do so we found a couple of lay in plans here in these mournhold traders for just under 100k so we're gonna be buying those and trying to sell them on they should still be worth about 200 at this point in time but they are rapidly dropping okay so again i'm not going to show you everything on the traders what i'm buying so far just because i didn't really mark down when i was sort of buying stuff i just kind of bought it as we went so i'm just going to move on from the trading now obviously i did see a comment the other day pretty much saying that you guys do want to see me going and buying all the items and all the items i buy and see what traders they're in and how much i bought them for um i would show you guys that i just haven't really had the opportunity to like note down the times in the stream as when i bought items you know so it's like really hard for me to look through four hours of stream and uh see every item i bought and when i bought it you know but i will try and do that in the future i'll try and like mark down when i buy big items or when i buy like something expensive or like just anything really of interest so the next thing we did was we wanted to get some XP here. So we're trying to reach level 300 so we can do our nice, you know, DLC dungeons. One, we want to be doing DLC dungeons for masks and things like that. And we want to be doing them because I want to get like nice aesthetics, like gold dyes, things like that. We got like 750k XP, so it was really, really good. And it's actually boosted us up really high. So with that, we've actually hit 300 CP. Okay, so we're going to be able to do some DLC dungeons and stuff. And just quickly, I'm just going to go over something I did actually find halfway through the episode. It was just a Jamora style book. Now, style books are pretty rare. And I know on PC, at least these were for a couple of million. So I actually price checked this on PC. There wasn't really an Xbox comparison for me. So on PC, this is worth like 2.53 million. Okay, so it's a really expensive book. So I thought I'd pick it up for 350 and try and flip it for like 600, 700. Um, so we're going to see how that goes. Hopefully it does sell. We're getting a little bit close to Halloween, but as long as we dump it before the Witches Festival sort of starts, we should be good, okay? Okay, so the next thing we did was we actually went to do a couple of veteran dungeons with some people from this stream. So we actually had Loki, Jack in the Box, and Angel NG there. So they all came to help me out getting my nice things. So as soon as we hit level 300, obviously we want to do mask farming. Obviously we want to go and uh, use this to actually get motifs. But first of all, what we need to do is make my character look good. Okay, and roleplay a little bit fashion wise. So at the minute, obviously you can see my character looks a little bit ugly, looks a little bit newbie. It's got a basic staff, basic little costume and, you know, basic everything. He's also not even wearing a skin from like any content. So, you know, he needs to be improved a little bit. So what we're doing here is we're doing a veteran Far Cree Fold and veteran Blood Root Forge. That is for the point of getting us the Blood Root Wine Die. So if you've seen my, my main character and a couple of my other videos, you'll see he's just like a big golden shiny guy, runs around in the Feehoff skin and every single piece of armor is bright shiny gold. So we're going to try and replicate that here. So we do need to actually get the die and that's essentially why we're in these dungeons here. So obviously while we're in here, we can be getting style materials. And also we can be getting like the motifs to drop from here. So these motifs aren't worth too much, probably like 10, 20k each. And the star materials really aren't worth too much. But, you know, it's a little bit of passive money while we're farming for the aesthetic skins and stuff and the uh, the colors. Also for a skin there, we can't get the feet off skin obviously because I'm only like level 300-ish. So we actually just jumped into this little dungeon, the Depths of Montar. So we went in there to get like a, a nice golden glowy skin. You can probably see it's pretty cool. It's not as good as the feet off skin in my opinion. But it will do for now until we get to a point where we can do trials like that. So what I did was I went on my main character and bought myself some motifs. Because it's just aesthetic, it doesn't really matter for the series. It doesn't affect our money making. It just makes my character look a bit better. 
So what we did was we threw over a couple of motifs there, um, including our legendary mullet kind of shoulder. So I'm kind of glad that came out again because I made the alt and it didn't have it. So quite happy I dropped sort of recently. So I'm just quickly sort of going over the outfit here. I'm just making my character look nice and I'm going to dye everything nice and gold. But yeah, we're just basically equipping all that stuff and we're just going to dye fully gold. And uh, we actually bought the quite nice staves there. So we actually got the choking staves, I think it was. They're quite nice, have a nice green glow from them. So that's where we're at now. So I think my card looks pretty cool. So now the fashion roleplay is out of the way, what we're going to do is do some thieving roleplay. So we're back in Craglorn again, obviously just stealing some apples for our little Khajiit. So yeah, we are actually level 15 legendmen, so we can get three out of four in the locksmith passive. Now obviously the next one is really big, it gives us like an extra 25% chance. So we do still need to get level 19, but things like, you know, opening chests and stuff like that, it's going to be way easier for us right now. And uh, hopefully it will get even easier quite soon. Okay guys, so the next thing we're going to do is we're just going to jump in and see what items we actually bought today. Okay, so we have 19 items. I'm just going to show you what every single one of them are. So we bought a pair of Mother Sorrow breeches there. They're in the vines. We got those for only 20k. Got a pair of Mother Sorrow shoes. They're also in the vines. We got those for only 34k. We got a pair of Trinomac legs there. We got a Dark Conversions ring in blue. Now those are selling for 50k pretty easily. So we're quite happy with that. We also got a Sizzik Ambrosia recipe. Got a pair of Companion Guard. We got the Jamora style book for 350k. We're going to try and sell it for around about 700. So hopefully double our money. But we'll have to see about that one. A pair of Legion Zero Graves there for 2k or less. We got them for... Slots on shoulders we got for 60k. We got a Leo and Turret Castle for only 90 something k, I think 97. So we're trying to sell that on. But Leo Castle Door for about the same, about 100k ish. So again, just trying to sell both of those quite quickly and see if we can make a bit of profit here because it's still not too far away from the event. We got another Maelstrom Motif for about 80k, I think the shield. So we did sell one for 150, so that's pretty good. And then we got a couple of pieces of old arsenium there and a few more Legion Zero pieces. And we did actually manage to sell some more of our platinum there towards the end of the day, okay? So where we're leaving off there is with 799k. And I'm just going to quickly show you guys what we have listed on the traders and for how much, okay? So in Chili's, obviously they actually lost trader this week. So what we're doing is we're not really listing too much in there. So it's just stuff we had at the start of the episode, okay? And the start of actually of last episode as well. So just things we got up long term trying to sell, a lot of Legion Zero stuff. Same sort of thing in Map Master again. Um, they didn't have a Mournhold slot at this particular time, so we listed in different guilds realistically. So we didn't really list too much new in Map Masters this week, just because they didn't have Mournhold, and also just because we didn't have our Mournhold traders full. So you always want to fill your Mournhold traders and then your other stuff after. So Dynasty is actually one of our Mournhold guilds, so we did actually fill this up quite a bit here. So all our Legion Zero stuff went up for 30k each. So this has been selling for me slightly slowly recently, but it was selling. We got another Inferno staff of Dark Conversions. We're going to list for 100k. Uh, we got a Restoration staff in Purple Lair. Right, our Souls on Shoulders are for 170k. We're hoping they'll sell, but they might not. It just is quite new out, okay? And then we have Archer Moore style book there up for about 700k. So we're hoping for best with that one. Might not sell for that high. Might have to drop the price, but we are hoping for the best there because it is kind of a full style book. So there we have Dark Brotherhood Steve, stuff like that. We have our Trinomac legs over 15k, 40k for our vigorous legs. So then we have the stuff from previously. So again, this is our dwarven things. We're trying to resell just sort of for break even. And then just like a couple of Maelstrom motifs, things like that, leads in zero. So in Reign of Darkness, we actually had a couple of dark conversions rings there in blue for 70k. We bought those all for like 20, 30k pretty easily. Uh, we've listed our Mother's Heart breaches there for 40k, our Mother's Heart boots there for 70k. So you can bruise it there for 24k or lamb and castle for 180k again so quite a lot of big ticket items in here we're hoping they're going to sell quite quickly um so we're going to come back to this hopefully these have all sold because we'll be over probably two mil easily if a lot of this stuff sells so uh, we're just going to see what happens but otherwise in this trader again this is all stuff we have previously selling but yeah guys that's pretty much everything we have on the trader so far so you didn't really miss out on much so hopefully we can get a lot of progress in the next episode hopefully we can start making a lot more money now especially you know doing some dungeon methods maybe so yeah quickly just going to wrap up the video guys so just before we end i just want to say about my halloween costume contest so basically i've said this in the last couple of videos so don't want to bore you with it but Following costume contest, you get 3k crowns if you come first. All you have to do is join my Discord and enter it by putting a picture of your character in costume in the Discord. Really easy, uh, 3k crown prize, so just do that, link in the description of this video. Also, if you did like the video, remember to leave a like on it, subscribe for more content like this, and I will see you in the next one, okay?